there's enough nuclear waste in Britain to fill Wembley Stadium. Some of it's lain untouched in water for decades. If humans cleared it up, it would take 120 years. So scientists are developing a new generation of intelligent robots to help out. Their circuit boards will need to withstand huge levels of radiation. So they're testing them in this special room. The entrance is this one and a half ton steel and polythene door, which you just pull like that and then get out of the way. And then I just have to stop the momentum so it doesn't bounce too much. It's pretty heavy. Then we go into the room. I've got the Geiger counter, but it's very safe. The room isn't being used at the moment. And you can hear there's no radiation anywhere. When you come in, there's this blue door here. Now that would open and a beam fires one and a half billion times the normal number of neutrons at whatever you put in its path. And what that does is recreate really high levels of radiation. Let's just see what's here. There'll be a few blips because it's just background radiation. Well, Richard, I've got one of our robots here uh, that's carrying one of our processor boards. That it's brought us a little present, hasn't it? For experiments. <laughs> And what you can see here is um, a processor board that we've used for these experiments here, which we've blasted with uh, radiation. And even though it looks perfectly fine, it doesn't work anymore because the circuits have been damaged by radiation. So at the moment for nuclear decommissioning and processing of nuclear waste, this is mainly done by human operators that here have to wear protective clothing. And it takes about five to six hours to go and get these protective clothes on. They then have to travel to the site where they undertake the work for another hour or so. Undertake the work for two hours and afterwards they have to come back and go and get undressed. One of the benefits of using robotic solutions for that is that they don't have to go and use protective clothing. They're in the environment all the time. They can work 24 hours, seven days a week. And here's the room in action. The white dots are radiation damaging the camera's electronics. Building tougher electronics could also help protect our technology from naturally occurring cosmic radiation. It's become a modern problem because the electronics are getting smaller, it's getting faster and it's doing more, and that means that it's getting more interfered with by these particles. So things like driverless cars, electric vehicles, internet technologies, um, modern electronic systems, AI systems, machine learning systems, almost anything you can think of in our modern electronic world is being interfered with by these, the, by these particles. Clearing up our old nuclear waste is one of the most complex and expensive environmental challenges facing the country. Building robots to work where humans can't survive is key to solving the problem. Richard Westcott, BBC News, the Rutherford Appleton Laboratory in Oxfordshire.